Good afternoon. I had hoped that the worst of COVID was behind us, and in June, that certainly seemed to be the case. Like many of you, I began to resume normal activities because the spread in our region was very low, and the governor ended the emergency orders that he had in place. However, since that time, the dynamic around COVID has certainly changed. I'm sure you've heard of the Delta variant by now and how it's rapidly spreading across the country. And what makes the Delta variant so concerning is not just that it spreads easily and rapidly, but that it's also making the very young and healthy very sick. And that's concerning, of course. Uh, the experts tell us that hospitalization rates are up and are going to continue to increase if we don't do our part to minimize the spread in our community. These factors compel me to consider what additional steps we might take to reasonably protect our coworkers and their families. As public servants, we also need to be concerned about being able to effectively, efficiently, and without burden to our workforce, provide service delivery to our community. Our best data suggests that about 40 to 50% of our workforce is currently vaccinated. And I realize that may be understated as we did not require everyone to report their vaccination status. We only required reporting if you wanted to be exempted from our indoor mask wearing requirements. But whatever our vaccination rate is, we know that there's a significant portion of our workforce that remains unvaccinated. And thus, we have a very real risk that the Delta variant could rapidly spread throughout our workplace. And we don't want our coworkers to get sick. We don't want people taking that virus home to their family members. And so we wanna to join together to do what we reasonably can to protect our workforce and our community against COVID. Therefore, I have decided to join my fellow city managers in Newport News, Norfolk, Portsmouth, Suffolk, and Williamsburg in announcing that we will have a mandatory weekly COVID testing program. Now, those of you who are fully vaccinated or become fully vaccinated, by our start date will be exempted from this requirement. Our planned start date is October 1st. We've picked October 1st for a couple different reasons. We see that the FDA is poised in the very near future to provide full authorization for at least one of the currently available vaccines. And we realize that some of you may change your mind and decide to become vaccinated in that period of time once that full vaccination authority comes forward. You may want to change your mind for other reasons as well. So we want to give the, the workforce the chance to select Johnson & Johnson, Moderna, or Pfizer, and have a full six weeks to complete the regiment of testing before our start date. Also, with a decision like this, there's always a lot of questions, answers, details that need to be provided, and we certainly want to give you those answers in ample time for you to understand how the program will work. We'll be providing that in the coming days and weeks. Uh, some of these details will be, for instance, where can I get vaccinated? And by the way, we'll give you time so that you be, you know, have about an hour off of work to do that vaccination. But we also wanna tell those who will choose the testing route to know where they would go to get their tests. So be looking forward to those details in the, in the coming days and weeks. But know that we wanted to forecast where we were going so that you could start to think about your personal approach to our program. Now, I realize that these are not perfect measures that will completely stop the spread of COVID. Nothing can. Someone could certainly get a breakthrough case of, of COVID with having been vaccinated, although the data suggests that those who are vaccinated and do get a breakthrough case are protected against that severe illness and death. And we can certainly have a negative test on one day and then develop COVID the next. But these are the best measures available to us. And we have a responsibility, as I've noted, to try to do our best to protect one another. And I realize there will be some that criticize this decision and others that applaud it. That's natural. We all have our own opinions about every issue. But I do want to say that I think the misinformation about COVID and vaccination and the rhetoric around it has caused us to lose sight of our mutual responsibility to one another. A lot of the conversation has been focused upon our individual rights. And we do have rights as citizens, but we also have a social compact with one another. And we need to honor that social compact, particularly in a workforce like Hampton that has always demonstrated care and concern for one another. Indeed, it would have been easier in this emotionally charged environment to do nothing at all. Uh, but I don't believe in doing what is easy. I believe in doing what is right. 
in assessing what is right for us, for our workforce, I understand there is a true cost to inaction. That cost of inaction would mean that more of our coworkers will get sick. It's, it's reasonable to predict that based upon all the science that we have available. And none of us should want our coworkers to get sick, especially with something like COVID that could have very severe impact to their health and even potentially their life. We also understand that when coworkers are out sick, that we all have to step up and fill their shoes. And as we've seen in these other cities I've talked about, when, when whole departments are having to um, cut back on services, there's a need for mandatory overtime, not having vacation, not having personal time. All these are choices we don't have to confront if we choose to band together and do the right thing. One of the things I love most about working for the city of Hampton is that true team spirit that I see embodied in all of our workforce on a daily basis. I, I could give countless examples of how people band together to support one another in good times or in bad times. This testing or vaccination program is yet another way we can show our genuine commitment to one another. I trust you'll understand that and I look forward to your support of this approach. Thank you.